Nigerian army chased its men away from Kinshi Bush in Oyo. Chief Sunday Igoho decided to go on a rescue mission on 22nd September 2020 to help the people of Kinshi in Oyo State with the Nigerian Army, Civil Defense, Police and Vigilante Group. The headsmen have been disturbing the people of Kinshi Town and killing them for no reasons. Chief Sunday Igoho with his squad went to Kinshi Bush to face the Fulani headsmen who have been disturbing the peace of the people of Kinshi Town in Oyo State. After they faced the Fulani headsmen, Chief Sunday Ego reports that he really appreciates all those in support of this mission, most especially the Oyo State Governor, Sheima Kinde. The Nigerian Army, Civil Defense Police, Vigilante Groups, and those that volunteer their lives to face the headsmen. Chief Sunday Igoho also said those headsmen are very much dangerous and their fighting weapon is much powerful. He also said he is not working for money and nobody gave him money to do this but he went there to fight for the peace of the people. Thank you for listening to this news. Thank you so much Mr. Sunday Ego. This is the kind of people the Southeast people has been has been agitating and looking for. Look at a governor. This is look, look this is what we are talking about that a governor should be able to to, to do. Shima Kende, I'm not surprised at his outstanding performance in the states. See, to date, Sheima Kinde has been having a, a, an outstanding performance. His performance as a governor of the state has been very, very outstanding and solid. No wonder many people uh, were, were uh, uh, migrated, defected away from APC to PDP because of his positivity and positive contribution to the fast growth of the of, of the state. Why wouldn't the state grow when the governor supports positive positivity? When the, gov the governor all, is always by the side of the truth and not by the side of deceit. You can see he never looked at the face of the president. He doesn't want to know if the president is a northerner or a full animal. He went on with his decision. He went on with the decision and made a final decision about the headsmen. Look at them. Can't you see? Together with the governor, the people of the states, and the Nigerian army, the Fulanese became a forgotten thing. You can see what we're saying. Hmm. Oh my god. When with the 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 uh when we the Igbos, our Igbo leaders, when we they accept accept realities like this, when we they know that look that these people has tormented us enough, it is time for them to leave our community for good. Hope Uzodima should be able to see what his fellow governor has been able to do as a governor. Aside from being able to, um, to uh, aside from supporting the Oyo people from chasing these hoodlums out of the community, Sheima Kinde has been performing solidly well to the to, to the economic growth of the of the state. He has been doing what is expected of in in the states he has been meeting up with the with with the, with the needs and requests of the people of the states he has been meeting up with the the needful can't you see how people 
are defecting away from APC to PDP, that is because of his performance. That is because of his performance. His performance has not only influenced people to join PDP, but it has also influenced people to be a fan of Shema Kinde. Now, everybody want to be, want to be a fan of Shema Kinde. Everyone, to, everybody want to know him. Everyone, to, everyone want to exchange pleasantries mm -hmm. with him because he has done so well. You understand? So, my viewers, you can see what we have been agitating for for a very long time. Agitating for, see, if only Southeast can just have a shot of what the governor of Oyo State have just done to this headsman, I bet you, the Southeast will not experience this attack they are experiencing anymore. You understand what I'm saying? They will not. It is the Southeast that has given these hoodlums the power and the stability to be doing what they are doing. They deserve to be chased out completely. They don't, they don't deserve to be seen in the environment. They don't deserve to be around the environment. Let them go back to their own hometown. Let them go back to where they are coming from. No one needs them. No one asks for their presence. Let them go away with their business interests. You understand? Let them go away with their business interests because it's of no good. It's of no good. It's a useless business interest. I get it now. It's not of good. They don't go away with it. No one is asking for it. No one wants it. Okay? My viewers, for how long are we going to stay and watch our people die unjustly because of these hoodlums? Is it a must to accommodate people? Is it a must? You give them the chance, they will, they will misuse the chance and start requesting for chances. No, 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 no. This cannot be done. We must not allow this. We must not allow this. We must not allow this. Let what, what, is, what is right be done. And let the people be given what be truly belong to them. You understand what I'm saying now? Let them be given what truly belong to them. My viewers, based on what has just been said, what do you think? What's your own observation? Please, you do well to leave your comments below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.